Sorry, I forgot. But you and Nance always have a good time, though. No? I know. It's just that you're going away to grad school soon, and... Hey, we've got plenty of time, okay? Look, tomorrow, it'll just be the two of us. Okay, but I'm still picking the movie tonight. Shit. She's gonna fucking pick Casablanca again, I know it. Hey, what's up, guys? You still coming over to watch the movie tonight? Yeah, but I am picking the movie this time because I cannot sit through another horror film. Hey, you could have just left last night. Yeah, like any of you were going to come with me, I couldn't even convince my own boyfriend to come. Well, honey, if we let you choose all the time, we'd see the love guru again. It was not that bad. Who are you kidding? Anyways, I fucking love last night's choice. And that's why I love you. Yeah, well, loving aside, I'm still picking the movie tonight. Look, babe, relax, okay? Besides, scary movies have good foreplay. Keep it in your pants. Okay, well, we've got to get to calculus. Eight o'clock good? Sounds good. Remember, I'm picking the movie tonight. Uh, I swear to God, if I have to sit through the vagina monologues one more time. I'll make sure she picks something decent. Don't worry. <laughs> Great. I've got the guy who's a fan of Mean Girls picking my entertainment. Mean Girls is a classic, and you know it. Glenn, can you get up off your ass and help me clean up the kitchen, please? They're going to be here any second. Do you hear me? Relax, the place looks fine. Um, no it doesn't, and I for one would not like to be embarrassed, thanks. Chill out, have a beer, like, give your OCD a rest for once. I do not have OCD. You sound just like my mom, you know? You did not just compare me to your mother. All I'm saying is that we have Rob and Annie over like five times a week, and you freak out if everything isn't perfect. If you ever want to get laid by me again, you'll shut the fuck up right now. That's what I thought. Um, can you get that? Clearly my hands are a little full. <sighs> so demanding sometimes, you know? Hey, hey guys. Hey. Come on in. It's freezing out there. It's too bad you're chilly, because I've got cold beer in the fridge. I'm, I'm warm again. Well, let me take your coat, guys. Oh, thanks. Oh, and uh, take off your shoes. We wouldn't want any dirt on the floor, would we? Don't you start with me. <sighs> okay, boys, since you decided not to go easy on me, I really dug into the archives for this one. My personal favorite, Casablanca. Seriously? Dude, I thought you were going to make her pick something decent. Got you with the lingerie again, didn't she? Oh no, dude. She did. I'm helpless to the lingerie. Enjoy, guys. Your girlfriend's killing me. What the hell? Oh, there is a god. Thank you. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'll go get some candles. Well, since God has given me and Rob this blessing here, 
I think we should make things interesting. You actually think that the power outage was an act of God just so you didn't have to watch Casablanca? Well, someone up there is watching over me. Ever since he said Hail Mary before the Super Bowl last year, he's been very religious. <coughs> yeah, he's the poster boy of holiness. Hey, have you guys ever heard of the Everwood Massacre back in 74? Dude, don't start with that bullshit again, all right? The real killings didn't happen like that. What killings? I can't believe no one's ever told you about the massacre. <sighs> you guys are going on about this for a while. I'm getting you another beer. Okay, so as the story goes, there was this preacher back in the 70s who used extreme methods of punishment for people who sinned. <laughs> he called it his own version of confession. So what did he do? The guy snapped. He waited outside the theater where the opening night of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was being screened and followed a group of teens home. He broke into their house and made them watch each other get slaughtered. I'm calling bullshit on that one. Yeah, we would have known if something like that happened here. See, that's the thing. They never found the bodies. Only one girl survived. She was too fucked up to tell them anything. The case was never solved. People talk. So what happened to the preacher? Never found him. They had their suspicions, but no evidence. He skipped town before they could question him. And he's never been seen since. Hey. Hey, where's the beer? Check the truck in my car. People say he's still out there. But even if the story were true, he'd be old as hell. The murders happened over 30 years ago. Maybe he has some followers or something. I don't know. Still out here, come on! No! Come on! <laughs> 